he just wanted to get the birds. This is at 4.11 a.m. It really isn't as loud and beautiful as it can be. Hmm. It's becoming lighter. Just 20 minutes ago, it was pitch black. And I'm saying to myself, why would birds get up at 4.11 in the morning? And look, 20 minutes later, I can see why. I mean, the camera, it looks a lot darker in the screen than it really is. I'll show you the picture. But now I understand. See, it's nice to get up this early. Not that I'm going to stay awake. It's cute, you can hear the birds. There's more and more. Some days it is amazing. You hear um, birds all the way around in these trees. In the Bible, it talks about how everything above the sea, under the sea, in the sea, everything on the earth, all praises the Lord. And that's what I imagine. I mean, even the animals have to know their creator. They have to. They have a soul. Anything that has life has a soul. The Catechism of the Catholic Church says. So all things worship God. So I imagine them singing to him early in the morning. A lot of religious life get up at this hour to praise God, to pray you know, to him, to pray to him. So it's nice that so many thousands of people wake up early like this at around four in the morning to talk to God with the animals. In the morning, I love to pray for all the animals around the world that are being treated unjustly, that they will be given uh, peace while they endure being killed or just kept. I also pray for all the mothers that are considering abortion to have compassion in their heart for and have a mother's heart for that baby so that they will not get an abortion. Dear God, there's a lot of pain in the morning thinking about all the, the people and animals that have to suffer today. While most of us think we're suffering, but in comparison, oh no. Even though we hurt, I get it. I, I hear my I hear my favorite bird. It's the one that goes doo doo. Doo doo. That's the same bird they had on the movie in the Green Gables. Every day I pray for my brothers and sisters and their families that every one of them become a saint. I think that's a great prayer. So you can pray for 
people that may be struggling with drugs and alcohol and impurity and modesty. Pray for the innocent. I even pray for my squirrel friends. You can pray. You might think that your prayers are only good enough for your family. Maybe they're not, you know, God isn't, it's really God. It's not us. You say the prayer and God does it. You could pray for the whole world every day. Isn't that cool? So, it's important to say your prayers. It really is. A lot of people perish because they don't have anybody to pray for them, even though Jesus died for them. So, let's get with it. If you don't say your prayers, you know, you could be washing the dishes, you could be, you know, on the train or in the car getting ready to go to work. Anytime, okay? And you don't have to have it all perfect settings. Just talk to God. Talk to God. He likes that. He wants us to participate in prayer. Wednesday's Salvation Army, I don't know about all around the world, but they have um, half off during the week at some point. They have half off of their clothing. Ours happens to be a Wednesday. So, if you don't mind wearing used clothes, which if you think about it, a lot of clothes in the stores are used because how many people go in there and try on clothes, okay? They do. I probably have my makeup everywhere, I'm sorry. But it is what it is. I'm trying to be quiet. One of my kids is in my bed. Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Here comes the sun. I see. It's alright. And then we can pray for the souls in purgatory. That's right. That's a place where if people die with sin, they will be purged. Purgatory purged. So that they will be more fit. Their souls need to be purged of any sin that is not mortal, that's venial. That means that it's a lesser sin. It doesn't separate you from God. So you can pray for the dead, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let your perpetual light shine upon them, and may they rest in peace. Amen. Especially for my grandparents and all the people I knew that died. So it looks like I'm back in action with going to the indoor skate park. Mm-hmm. My son has a lot of catching up to do. It's almost five. And don't forget to ask God to give you wisdom, his wisdom, and his blessing upon you, your family. You can even ask St. Michael. He's the protector of the church. You can even ask St. Michael to protect the world. Imagine that. Your little prayer can help protect the world. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. How many people are going to die today? How many people are stuck in sin? But with your prayers, yes, your little prayer, they can help. You can even pray for events that already happened because God is in all time. So he can take your prayer. That's what the Mass is all about. That the Last Supper, when you go to church, when you go to Mass, and there the, the priest, through the power of God, is consecrating the bread and wine into the body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are at that very time. You know, we're at the Last Supper, we're at the Crucifixion, you know, at the Resurrection. It's just, we're all there. 
at the same time. So whenever we say no, we're not going to go, you're saying no, that you're not going to be there when it happened. It's exciting. This life, even though it's long, it's very, very fleeting. We are only here, literally, even though it's so long, or it can be long, for some, no. But it is very, very fleeting. We're only here, even though we do the same mundane things every day, every day, every day. We're only here to go to heaven. That's it. We're only here to get back to God, period. That's something? That's it. So keep your eyes focused today. Keep your eyes focused. There will be hard times. God says to carry our cross. I'm actually going through stuff right now. I am. Um, and even though we struggle, we're carrying our cross and we're going to do it bravely. But it's hard and it hurts. It hurts. Sorry about my makeup everywhere. It hurts really bad. But we have to make it through. We have to press through. Like my um, my mother always reminds me, I think it was my father who said it, the only way out is the way through. I'll say that again. The only way out is the way through. Our Lady promises to the, uh, if you don't know the story of Fatima with Our Lady, the Blessed Mother, Go and look it up on um, on YouTube. They have some really great things out there. Um, so she said to the children, the, Fat the three shepherd children in Fatima, I do not promise you happiness in this life, only in the next. So we deal with it. It, it. You have to know that so you'll be strong. Right? You have to know that to be strong through the grace of God. Because if you think life is supposed to be like all hunky-dory and wonderful, you're in for a really big surprise. Yes, you are. Because we might look at, you know, people in our lives and say, well, they haven't made, they're not suffering, they're, they seem really happy. God is with them. God is with you even when you suffer. Yes, and he has us suffer at times on purpose. Yes. It's to draw us closer to God. And look at Mother Teresa, okay? Who is now Saint Teresa of Calcutta. She felt very dry with, you know, feeling close to God, but she still did his work anyway. So you know what your crosses are. I know what mine are. It's not easy. And I'll be writing a, a book about it. It's not easy. It's actually quite horrible. It is. But it's God's will. Now there are times that we, you know, bring on more than we really have to. There are times that we bring on more than we have to. It's not, some, some suffering is not necessary. We do it to ourselves through disobeying God. And then there are other times, listen to the birdie. There are um, times that God, you know, you say, I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing. And it still comes upon us. Isn't that beautiful sounding? <laughs> it sounds like there's two different sounds. Sounds like one is high. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Do, do. It's a lot lower. All right. I guess I should go lay down again. It's 5.02 in the morning. Don't forget to pray. Even if you have to just do it when you're walking to the bathroom. Say so you have no time. Do it while you're just 
doing your thing. You don't have to sit quietly if you don't have time. Just pray. Mother Teresa prayed all day. All day. If you don't know what to pray, pray the words of God, the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. See you in a little while.